Anaheim, California is a town full of sunshine and big dreams. After all, this Southern California city is the home to the defending Stanley Cup champion, and of course, Disneyland. So in this town of Snow White and Pinocchio, it's only fitting that a story being told at Servite High School sounds like a fairy tale. It's the story of the Khalil family. Once upon a time, a professional football player named Frank Khalil fell in love with a woman named Cheryl, who happened to be Miss California, 1981. The couple has three children, but amazingly, each of the children might become bigger successes than their parents. Oldest brother Ryan plays in the National Football League. Middle child Danielle is a model and professional recording artist. And the youngest, Matt, is ranked as the number one high school lineman in the country. It's a remarkable success story for a well-grounded family. Frank's dad just passed away, and we were talking about that at his service, how important family is, and it's, it's what gets you through everything. It's what defines you as the person you are. If you surround yourself with good people, then good things will happen. I really think that who you hang out with defines who you're going to be as a person. In the Khalil family, success isn't an exception. Rather, it's the rule. But since this is a show about prep athletes, we'll start this story with Matt Khalil. In reality, it's only fitting, after all, the Servite offense starts when its six foot seven inch, 280 pound tackle heads to the line of scrimmage. Uh, running behind our O line is fun, because, like you said, we got some big boys. But running off that left side or running inside with Matt Pullen, it's, uh, it's even more fun. You, you better get up on his butt, because he's going to make a big old hole for you. The kids are lined up against Matt every day. Uh, if they can have any one iota, a little bit of success against him, they know that when come game time, it's not going to get much tougher than that. The great part about him, he's, he's got an air about him, and, and he, he's not a prima donna. He's not a kid that uh, you know uh, reads about himself in the paper and brags about himself a bit. He, he's, he's all about team, and he's all about family. And uh, he's just another, just like Dad, a hardworking guy. And if you didn't know that he was six foot seven, 300 pounds, he just, he just another regular guy out there. And uh, he just makes everybody work hard. He's a pleasure and a jewel to be around. Matt Khalil is half man, half mountain. His father, Frank, is the offensive coordinator at Servite. But the practice field is no place for father and son to be close. Even though he is the offensive coordinator, he stays out of our way because, I mean, when we get to college, he's not going to be there for us. I mean, we have great offensive line coaches here at Servite. I think he's confident enough in them to show us the things to do. I mean, our offensive line coach, uh, Coach Trezanek, I mean, he's had over 15 guys go D1. And I think mean, he's a really great coach. One of our mottos is to believe. Credo means to believe. And I think Frank believes in the coaches here and the coaching staff and what we're trying to do. And, you know, he knows that things will work out for the best for Matt. And, uh, you know, he's a great father, you know, and he's a great role model for our other guys as a father. I don't coach Matt. You know, I might get on him if he's not doing something right, but I don't. I won't sit there and overcoach him in front of my offensive line coach or in front of the head coach or anybody. I mean, he's on his own, and if I think that there's something to be addressed, I'll do it at home. I'll teach him some things there, but never in front of people and never in front of, his, you know, his other coaches. Then it's home. It's all about family for Matt Khalil as well. On the day of our visit, Matt's aunt comes over to shave his head as a sign of solidarity with his Servite teammates. Well, I guess it's kind of been um, a tradition at Servite, I think, probably since Toner was coaching here. Um, but I think it's mainly just to um, specify that everyone's one, like one as a team. And that's a tradition that's been kept here for I think over 30 years now. Although I know a lot of the guys that leave there, they don't want to shave their head again. They just like to grow their hair really long after they get out of Servite because every year they have to shave it off. Yeah, I think that kind of kicks everything off and it's a tradition. I'm sure Matt will tell you more about why they do it, but it's a, it's a good thing. It kind of brings all the kids closer and they can be in their bald glory, glory together. But this family does so much more than buzz cuts and football. The Khalil's own a coffee shop named Mojo's in Corona, California. My my niece manages it, Courtney manages her. We have a double drive through coffee store, which is, I'm a coffee connoisseur, I love coffee. Frank was never much of a coffee drinker, although he is more so now. But he's actually the one that suggested we get it started. And my daughter works at it, I work there. Um, my, like I said, my niece runs it, I have a nephew that works there. So it's really, it's a, really is a family business. And when she's not at the coffee shop, Danielle Khalil is hard at work on a bright singing career. <clears throat> yeah, I think she's going to be real successful in the, more, uh, in the future because uh, she has such a great voice. And actually, my brother, his agent, 
is she's setting up meetings with her um, for some presidents of some record companies. So, I mean, she has a bright future ahead of her. But this is a football story, one that the Khalils hope finishes in the NFL. And so far, Matt is following his brother's path to a T. Next year, he'll attend the University of Southern California, just like Ryan. I do. I'm so excited. I don't have to buy a new wardrobe. I told Coach Carroll he was going to see me age over a 10-year span. That was kind of scary. <laughs> and then it might be off to the NFL. It would be a fitting end to this fairy tale story. Both Khalil brothers playing together in the National Football League. I think he'll compete well like his brother. They compete really well, and, and uh, we'll see what happens. I think that would be a very special moment if they were on two different pro teams or if they were on the same team. I think that I would look at that as uh, quite an accomplishment for both of them.